Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I have yet another Pokemon opening, and this one's going to be kind of interesting because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is from the base set of Sword and Shield, so um, I don't know what we're going to get. It says it comes with five packs. This was um, $25, I believe, so five packs for $25 plus the 10 in the promo. Um, again, pretty much worth it in my opinion, so um, this tin is pretty cool. It's all 3D and stuff, so that's nice. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to get. So we get one of two foil Pokemon V, Zacian, or Zamazenta. Five um, TCG um, booster packs. Sorry, hopefully hopefully the camera's focused quite a bit. And then um, a code card. So that's cool. A Galar Legend with Steely Resolve. That's funny. They always do puns. Nothing else in Galar comes close to the strength of a legend. Choose the Brave Blade of Zacian V or the Dauntless Shield of Zamazenta V in the Pokemon trading card game, Legends of Galar 10. Okay, each of these fantastic tins contains a super powerful Pokemon V with the moves to cut, guard, and triumph in your next Pokemon battle. All right, let's see if uh, let's see if this is true. So I have no idea how I'm gonna open this up. Maybe just okay, that wasn't too bad with like sheer willpower. Okay, so I'm hoping for. Um, some decent packs in here. Um, there's some Sun and Moon stuff I don't want to see. I don't... Okay. We'll, we'll look in a second. Oh, okay, so there's some cool stuff in here already. Ugh. Oops. I'm always like... I hate these plastic things because I'm always terrified of, like, damaging the cards inside of them. So, first of all... There's that code card for anybody who wants it. Um, what I said in my last video, it's... Um, the code cards are cool. Um, maybe I'll use them one day if I end up playing um, Pokemon Sword and, or sorry, Pokemon TCG again. Um, I just don't like playing it on my laptop, so I'm kind of hoping they release a mobile app like what Magic the Gathering did. So this card is cool. Um, a lot of these V cards with their 3D um, artworks I really don't like, but um, Zacian does not look bad, so um, I kind of like him. So we'll put him over there for the, for now. And we will take a look at the packs that we got. So I'm hoping mostly newer stuff. A few of the Sun and Moon stuff I'm not um, opposed to um, to open. So because those can be pretty cool too. So we have Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash Base Sword and Shield Sun and Moon Base X Y Steam Siege. Hmm. I may save these. I'm not really sure. I may save these for another video because they're old and I could do a compilation of some older stuff. So maybe I'll save these, but for now, uh, we will open these three and hope to hopefully get at least something pretty good. Okay, so we'll start with Sword and Shield Base. Alright, and um, following my last video, I'm going to try not to look at the code card. So, um, here we have Sizzlipede. I love this artwork, and he's also one of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon, so that's cool. Snom, I love him. Mawile. Gassaflar. Goldeen. Reverse Hollow Noctowl. I believe that's a rare. Yes, it is. So that's cool. I love the artwork there. That looks fantastic. And <laughs> Poltegeist. That's our rare, huh? Interesting. Okay. I love that artwork too. I love I love that. For some reason that just that's awesome. Drizzle. Bisharp. Evolution Incense. Okay, so not the greatest pack ever. Not the worst pack I've ever had either. <laughs> like, I've had some packs where I was just like, oh, you know. But Sword and Shield Base, um, it's not that I'm bored of it by any means. Um, it's just that I've opened quite a few of it. So, um, I think I've had, I think I have, like, literally all those cards. This pack feels weird. It's, like, damaged in a weird way. I don't know what's, what that's all about. So, let's open up Rebel Clash. If I'm not mistaken, this was one of one of my favorite ones, but once I see the cards, I'll be able to know for sure. I think I ended up liking um, the Rebel Clash stuff quite a bit. And I accidentally saw the code cards. I already know there's nothing 
um, overtly spectacular in here, but that doesn't mean we, we don't, we won't like the rare. So Applin, Galarian Darumaka, Bunnelby, ew. <laughs> I know I just said in the last video that I like these claymation artworks, but that one rubbed me the wrong way. Oh, that's a really cool looking Vulpix. I really like that. I think that's awesome. Phantom. Growlithe, I think that art artwork is fantastic as well of Growlithe. And Mandibuzz. I definitely have this one already, but again, uh, as my favorite card type being dark, I'll take that any day of the week. Beware, it'll get away. I have way too many of these. Way too many bewares. Luxio, kind of a neat artwork, I suppose. It reminds me of uh, Mario Galaxy, of all things. And there's the code card. Last pack. This last it, last video was a bit of a dud with it, so let's see if we can end off strong here. If not, we might have to open up those two packs. I just kind of think it'd be cool to do a compilation of older packs. Video one of these days. Full picks. Phantom. Galarian Farfetched. Sorry guys, just trying to make sure it's focused. Hopefully it is. So, okay, I hate this Pokemon because he's just, ugh. But this artwork is really cute, I must say. I love how he's collecting um, berries from in the game in this, like, tree trunk-looking thing or rock. I think that looks fantastic. Galarian Mr. Mime. Beware. And, oh, okay. So we ended up with a shiny, a hollow, but nothing crazy. But it is a Dragapult, so that is cool. I do like Dragapult quite a bit. Oh my god, that Metapod is adorable. I love that. That's pretty cute. Burning Scarf and Oleana. And since we haven't hit anything big in the last video and also this one, let's do it. So I have opened tons and tons and tons of base Sun and Moon, so... I'm not expecting to find anything crazy in here that I don't already have, but it would be nice to get a, a nice pull. So Grubbin, Fero, Snubble, Sandile, pick a pack. I love this little pick a pack. It's so simple, but it's adorable. Experience share and <laughs> Primarina. I have about 70 of these, I feel like. So that's cool. I love the way the energies look. I love it how like the energies in Sun and Moon look like an eclipse peeking out through the sun or the moon. It's cool. Trumbeak and Corsola. All right. So if anybody wants base Sun and Moon, there's the code. So nothing crazy there. All right. Last but not least, I don't know if I've ever. So I first I got back into um, the TCG around the Sun and Moon era. So, um, I don't know if I've ever really even opened up any packs from X and Wild. So, this will be interesting. I can already tell you right now, I love this artwork of Mareep, big time. I think that's adorable. Okay. Litwick, love that as well. Let me know down below, were, were the X and Y sets good? Because again, I started getting back into it around Sun and Moon, so. Wow, that artwork is really good. I love that Hop-Ip. Meowth looks terrified here. Oh my gosh, the Chimchar is adorable. This set seems cool. Lampant as our reverse. Even the reverse hollows look really cool back then. And, oh man. They brought back the dual types for this set. And is that a shiny? What? Wait, what? What is this? Hang on. Fletch and Deer. Pokemon Ranger. Tangrowth looks cool. This set looks really, really cool. Okay, yeah. So hang on a second. I believe if I'm not mistaken, that's a shiny, number one. 
and I mean shiny within like the game's not like it's obviously a holographic but I didn't know at any point they ever brought back the dual typings I thought that was only a thing back in like the ruby and sapphire era or you know before diamond and pearl I'm not sure what set it was but wow that is really cool I'll have to check this out and see if this is uh this has any kind of value but like even if not this is probably one of my favorite pulls i've ever gotten this is really neat i didn't know they did shiny cards back then i'm pretty sure that's a shiny bisharp if i'm not mistaken like i'm almost i would almost bet my life on it wow so we ended off strong um so that's exciting uh, we didn't get much we do have the dracopult in there somewhere so i'll have to get those out all right so i'm gonna go sleeve these up put them in my binder um, definitely do some research about this set because that looked really, really cool. So, um, thank you guys all so much for watching and, um, I hope to see you guys in the next one if I can find some more cards soon. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.